Hello everyone and welcome back. We are here with another video. This week we look back on a significant event in the Indian football in recent times. The ATK Mohan Bagan merger. After many ifs and buts, finally on June 1st, 2020, the merger was completed and ATK Mohan Bagan started its journey. This amalgamation adds new direction in the football environment and makes them a strong contender for the upcoming season as both the teams are coming after winning their respective leagues. The Mohan Bakan board wanted to keep no stones unturned. All their recruits were finalized before the Calcutta Football League and this provided a good platform to work as a team which reflected in their performance in the I-League. It was coach Kibu Vikuna's first season in the Indian football. He started with either a balanced 4-2-3-1 or a traditional 4-4-2. He wanted to use the sides to utilize the pace of either Suhet or Kolinas in the right and Naurem on the left. Building from the back, when the center back carries the ball and attracts opposition midfield, one full back makes a third man run. The white players utilize the half space created and also give space to the third man run in the opposition half. The team shifts towards the side of play to keep an overload and position rotations help break the man marking. Beitia was influential in his central attacking midfield role with the 9 assists and the striker Baba Divara with his 10 goals. One-sided play meant there were more open spaces in the opposite flank for the oppositions to exploit, but Vikuna set up his team very closely neat, giving less space between the players, which helped in quick pressing when positions were lost and to cut off the passing channel. Positionally, Gonzalez came down to assist the three main defense led by Saidas or Morante in case of counters. As the numbers show, Mohan Bagan considered only 13 the fewest and scoring 35 the most in the league. On the other hand, ATK management also roped in some notable recruits who played crucial role in their pursuit of the third ISL title. Coach Antonio Havas came back for his second stint with ATK. He starts with a 3-4-1-2 with Krishna and Williams leading the attack and sometimes a 5-4-1 according to the strengths of the opponents. There has been a lot of rotations in the squad, especially in the midfield. The versatility of the players have helped the coach to adapt different formations. Like Susa Raj, a winger, played the whole season as a left back. The full backs were given full freedom of moving forward. Probir Das had the best season of his life. His crosses from the right flank were delightful. Due to this, Pritam had to play as a centre back and sacrifice his forward moving instincts. The midfield trio remained intact and the games were pretty fluid. Krishna was phenomenal, scoring 15 goals during the campaign. His partnership with Williams was a trick to watch, as Williams or Joby kept it a two-man forward line and checked their runs to exploit the half spaces. When the fullbacks commit forward, at least two midfielder comes down to keep the numeric advantage during defensive transitions, or the fullbacks track back to make a five-man defense. ATK were a tough team to score against, having second minus defense as per stats. As Vikuna has already joined Kerala Blasters as the head coach, we will see how he uses his tactics for the Yellow Brigade. For ATK Mohan Bagan, they had a large pool of talented players, however, they are retaining most of their ISL winning squad. Sahanas and Balwan are rumored to be leaving while youngsters like Sheikh Shahil and Shubhogosh are among the few coming in from Mohan Bagan. Who do you think can join from the Mohan Bagan squad? Comment down below. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up, share with your friends and a gracious subscribe will really motivate us. Thank you for watching.